Gillard has been condemned to political death row by the opposition as the fallout over Labor's asylum seeker backdown intensifies. Senior ministers have been forced to defend the government's solidarity a day after an embarrassing cabinet leak exposed deep divisions on border protection. Here's political correspondent Andrew Green. Not for the first time in her Prime Ministership, Julia Gillard has discovered cabinets aren't always secure. And those inside the supposedly confidential walls aren't impressed. Cabinet meetings uh, should be confidential. Uh, from time to time, that is breached. Uh, that's unfortunate, but you get on with the job and you focus on the job at hand. On Thursday, when Labor announced its policy shift to onshore processing, Cabinet met twice to discuss options. Detailed leaks have revealed the Immigration Minister and key right faction ministers pushed unsuccessfully for asylum seekers to be sent to Nauru. It was appropriate for the Cabinet to consider its options for breaking a parliamentary impasse. As simple as that. If they want to open Nauru and Manus, and dump Malaysia, uh, I am very happy to work with the government. That option has repeatedly been dismissed by the Prime Minister. Nauru by itself won't work, that it does not have deterrence effect. Senior ministers are condemning the source of the latest government leak. Publicly, they're not pointing the finger at possible culprits, but privately, the guessing and blaming is in overdrive. I don't uh, talk about what goes on in Cabinet. I have absolutely no intention of changing that today. During last year's election campaign, damaging leaks dealt a severe blow to Labor's chances to cling on to power. This latest breach of Cabinet confidentiality has again undermined the Prime Minister's authority and is threatening to destabilise her leadership. It's even prompted former leader Simon Crean to publicly warn his colleagues to remain united. The opposition's again seized on the divisions. Julie Gillard is now on the equivalent of a political death row. It's not a question of um, if she's going to be replaced as leader, it's a question of when. But any leadership speculation of a return to Kevin Rudd or a switch to Defence Minister Stephen Smith has again been dismissed. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.